Hey YouTube, this is Everything you Pan here, and today I'm going to be doing a video tutorial on how to install Windows Vista Build 5384 in VirtualBox. So, um, this is a build of Vista that I believe is part of the Beta 2 um, series, so, um, and during this install there is going to be a little bypass to um, get through the activation to be able to use the operating system if you would like. So let's go ahead and get into the tutorial here. So let's get into VirtualBox and create a new machine. I'm just going to call it Windows Vista Build 5384 and then make sure it's set at the 32-bit instead of 64-bit and click Next. And then you can leave it at 512 megabytes, click Next. And then we're going to create a hard disk and then click Next. Dynamically out OK, click next, and then leave it at 25 gigs and click create. And then you want to go to settings and then storage and then insert the ISO, which is in here. And then once it pops up there, click OK and then go ahead and start the machine. Now this is a big ISO, this is 3 gigs, so yeah, that's going to be a um, pretty big download if you guys um, eventually uh, try to download this ISO, so yes, that is um, pretty big uh, download, so um, just be aware of that, it may take a little while for it to download. So it's going to boot up here and you see that the mouse is working, which is good. And then uh, you kind of got a Vista background right here. And then it's going to load up with the language and keyboard layout. Go ahead and click next after you choose your specified language. And then click install now. And then you gotta wait just a little bit, and then it should uh, should pop up with, I believe, the uh, product key here. So um, that will be included in the description with the um, ISO. So I'm gonna enter that in quick, and I'll be right back. So after you enter the product key, you're gonna go ahead and accept the license terms. Click next. And then go ahead and click custom, and then select your unallocated space, and click next. And then it's now going to begin the installation process. So um, this is going to take quite a bit of time and uh, probably about 10 minutes maybe to complete, maybe 20 at the most, but it shouldn't take too long. I mean it's basic normal install so probably 20 minutes at the most, 10 to 20 minutes. So I'll just let this sit for a little while and I'll be right back when it's on the first restart point. Okay so I actually uh, missed the first restart point but it did restart and uh, now it'll say please wait while Windows prepares to start and it's going to um, do the final parts of the setup and then it should reboot one more time so um, yeah and uh, at the time of this video I've been uh, having a little chat with uh, MS Go and he says hi everyone so um, be sure to spam his comments on his videos so um, so now it's going to uh, continue to load up the setup. And it should pop up in just a little bit. There, it's, there it goes. So here you see it says Windows Vista Beta 2 build 5384 down in the bottom right corner. And um, so I'll say please wait again. And then it'll do the uh, completing installation part of, of this uh, setup. So I'll just let it run for a little bit, and it's going to restart again. So I'll be right back with you guys once it restarts. So here it did uh, restart again, and uh, it'll be on this uh, black screen eventually with the uh, Vista Beta 2 build 5384 on the bottom right again. And then um, we should get into the part of setting up the user account right here so here we are uh, make sure to select your correct country and keyboard layout click next 
and then I'm going to type in my username here and uh, I always used to pick the dog picture whenever I installed Vista and click next and uh, we're going to call this Vista 5384 and click next you could choose one of those backgrounds if you want um, I'm going to click use recommended settings and then uh, choose your time zone click next and then go ahead and click start so now if you click start it should um, eventually uh, log you in to uh, the operating system here so I'll say uh, preparing your desktop when it's trying to log you in here and I believe this still had yep still has the Windows XP sounds in it so I'm not quite sure when they uh, changed the uh, sound scheme to what the uh, Windows Vista sounds were in the uh, RTM build um, so as of build 5384 it's still the Windows XP sound so when you are trying to log in here it's gonna pop up with this window that says Windows license expired now you're probably gonna think at this point that this is uh, unusable and uh, I'll just uh, show you here if you click on the uh, X to try and bypass it um, it will close out and uh, log you off so um, now if we log back on I'll show you how to uh, how to uh, bypass that uh, part to get into the operation system now that uh, window will still be showing up but uh, it will get you to the uh, to access the operating system itself so um, when it says preparing your desktop it will come back to the screen that says uh, Windows license expired so what you want to do here is you want to click buy a new product key online and no we're actually not buying a product key this is just the way we're doing it here and then it's going to load up Internet Explorer and then uh, you can just say ask me later or click one of those and my mouse is spazzing out right, my mouse was not working there so you can pick any of these options click OK and then uh, after it tries loading the page go ahead and type in on the address bar C colon and then click enter and then allow websites to use this program to open web content and click allowed and now it's going to open up file explorer or uh, the windows explorer here or whatever you want to call it and then uh, you want to double click on windows and then scroll down here and double click on system 32 and then you want to scroll down a little bit until you reach CMD right here and then double click on that and it'll open the command prompt right here you want to type in explore.exe click enter now it's going to set up your personalized settings for all this and then eventually you'll get the arrow theme you can close all these windows but don't close this window you cannot close this window or you'll be logged out and you'll have to do it again and now you're getting to the desktop so you can just click show desktop to kind of minimize that but whenever you open a window um, it will pop back up so um, yeah so that's the bypass and now you're in uh, the operating system here so um, you kind of just mess around with this a little bit kind of test it around and see what uh, the Vista development was like during the beta 2 stage so um, there you go guys that is how to install a Windows Vista build of 5384 in VirtualBox. Thank you guys for watching. Um, leave a like on the video down below if you enjoyed and if this helped. Um, and leave your suggestions for future videos in the comment section down below. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Once again, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.